Yeah, that's um, a great question. Um, I'll, I'll use something from my personal life. Um, and this is something very close, and I'll work my way through this. Uh, my daughter was diagnosed with cancer, and watching her work through that and keep true to herself, and no matter how bad it got, she never let it get to her. So, inspiration, no greater inspiration in my life than watching my daughter be that person. Through three years of treatment and losing her hair and everything else going wrong, she had one bad day. Um, I take a step back and I say, okay, what, what are we really trying to achieve? And I really do look long term. The short term gains are not sustainable. Usually you can input labor to solve any short term crisis or problem. But for me, when you're measuring success, have you been able to sustain it? And are you doing things that make you more efficient, more effective, you're achieving those things that you're really pushing to do and do better? For NASA, how we measure success is really dependent on what projects are the things we're working on. But I think the key in this conversation is actually measuring what's going on and not getting lost in the finite metrics of great dis uh, discretion, distinction, but really more looking overall, how are we, how are we trying to achieve change? It's science, it's innovation, it's discovery. It's all of these things for the benefit of all mankind. You know, this is not a national border issue for us. It's not an organizational issue for us, but in everything we do, um, we kind of look at the larger implication of what we're working on. Um, and I think that's something that's felt throughout the agency. And there's a sense of pride. There's a great sense of pride in NASA about what we do and why we do it. It's, it's a very unique place. Um, I think it's a pretty remarkable place as well. So I think you pointed out a very interesting one because at the same time we're competing for talent, we're collaborating on mission. They use our space, they use our launch services, they use our facilities, they, all of these things to make them successful. So I think that certainly is one. You know, the changing dynamic uh, that occurs with the changing administration and the U.S. government, you know, our mission has changed. We're now going to the moon and then we're going to Mars where it was something else prior. So I think understanding and having the ability as an organization to adapt to that change and be successful and having the resilience built into the organization so regardless of what comes next almost regardless of what's asked of us next because it happens a lot and a lot more than people probably know um, that NASA is asked to help with issues um, but having the resilience as an organization the capacity to take on those challenges and move forward with them another great question because um, it is uh, a little vague I think for someone on the outside but understand that we're talking about developing a sustainable presence on moon or in orbit around moon uh, the gateway platform um, we're really learning things that will further exploration you're learning about the effects of radiation on the body you're learning about you know effects of microgravity environments on the body you're learning about you know what is it going to take for us to go further into the solar system into exploration into those areas but you're using the moon as that platform to develop that knowledge. So everything we do, um, you know, has a tie to a larger purpose. So, you know, it's interesting. We talk about the moon as an incredibly important step, but it's also an important step from a learning perspective and developing that base of knowledge that we're going to use to exploit to go further into the universe.